called I Was Right About BO4 Zombies. Because basically, the preface of this, Pat made videos and tweeted a lot about what he thought was going to happen to Black Ops 4. And as it turns out, a lot of it actually was right uh, in, ver in a very peculiar way. So today, chat, we're going to be looking at Pat's video. And uh, we're gonna we're um, we're gonna we're gonna see what he has to say about this. Uh, we'll be going along through it, so let's check it out. The story you're about to hear is true. They called me a madman. They called me a sellout. They called me pessimistic. They did. But in the end, they, they I really ended did. up being 100% right. Two years ago, I predicted that Black Ops 4 Zombies was going to fail, and nobody believed me. Because it isn't Fortnite, you think it'll fail. LOL. What you do, you, do, you guys remember, do you guys remember how, how like, talks, or how anti, it wasn't anti other video games, it was specifically anti Fortnite that a lot of, a lot of people were for a long time. Because similarly, when Pat started posting Fortnite content, I moved on to another game as well. I was, I was deep into PUBG then. I was like, that was when the game, when PUBG was like starting to get big on YouTube and everything too. So, but I didn't really get any crap for it. It was just Pat because it was Fortnite. What you should be worried about is all your Fortnite fans leaving. So you're complaining that there are too many maps that come with the game? What? It will never fail. Yeah. Honestly, I think you're just worried about it being better than Fortnite because you don't want to lose money. TBH, your opinion doesn't mean much to the COD community. You left for Fortnite as soon as you saw the big bucks, and now that wow. Fortnite's dead, you're running back to COD. What a surprise. So I have never been someone to blindly fall. I love that. And I don't really try to blindly create hype either. But from the start of Black Ops 4's announcements, I That's true, was though. skeptical that it would succeed. And so I want to do two things today. The first is I want to go... That's a good way to put it, like, uh, similar with Cold War. Like, people people will ask every day if I'm excited for Cold War Zombies. It's like, part of me is excited, yeah. Part of me is also very skeptical and, like, trying to be ca cautiously optimistic if, if that's a thing. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but... Yeah, it is a good point. Back and look at my original video highlighting why I thought Black Ops 4 was going to fail. And then we're going to move on from there and actually look at what I think is going to happen with Cold War Zombies. The I've predictions. I predicted what would happen with the last two Treyarch games. So I, I think I've actually got a pretty good idea of what is going to happen with Cold War it's true. as well. Will it be positive? It's true. Will it be negative? Just watch all the way through. The one true prophet will give you all the answers. <laughs> oh, hands up. Please Lord make sure chat, everybody. Big ups for I'm Lord Pat right now. Hi. Hi there, Patrick. You sexy Okay, hair. so, okay, so we're, we're, chat, we're lounging right now to Pat. We're lounging to Pat. Just so everyone's on the same page. Blonde guy. We're in this state of just wanting Treyarch content so badly that there's this this idea of almost like blind hype where yep. blind hype yep yeah so that's yep. something that the call of yep. duty community does every single year i hate it i i honestly i hate it we still do it i think it's the content creators yeah. wanting to hype the fans up so that th there's a stir and there's more there's more views and more people going around but i just think to we've some done degree that, that is so true many times it's like to, okay, to some degree that is true. When we're excited about something, this is the only way we know how to express it, I suppose. Because it's not obvious if somebody's being excited just for the content, let's say, or for like other reasons, or they're actually excited because it comes out the same way, more or less. So, yeah, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that I think what Pat said is, is partly true just obvious now so that's exactly what happened with black ops 4 zombies and i i'm kind of worried that that's what's happening again with cold war where i feel like no one is even wants to say mm -hmm. anything remotely <coughs> bad that's fair about black yeah, ops 4 because exactly. they just they want it i could say the exact same thing today and actually i will about cold war zombies and to you, you, chat that's a, that's a good point as well you, you, i think like i think it was lex he like tweeted a while ago after the when the thing got announced he was like I haven't seen any negative comments about Cold War Zombies. It's like, yeah, but you know they're coming, and maybe people are, maybe people are putting that on for now just because they don't want to look at it in any negative way. It's kind of eerily close to what's going on. Even consider that there might be something not perfect about it might kill the hype. Dude, dude, they called me a yeah. madman. Yeah. Just saying. But Black Ops 4 is something that's super important to me, and I don't want to just give it that blind 
hype and that blind excitement without looking and being All right, Patrick, of respect. The game. And that's what Pat's respect. popping off right now. First Blonde Pat's popping off too. That I wanted to talk about is competition. So of everything, I would say this yeah. was probably in a way my weakest point. Competition was not directly why Black Ops 4 failed, but ironically, it did have a huge role to play. So it seems like the yeah. last year or two, there really haven't been a ton of games that have been absolutely huge. Fortnite in unintentionally as as influenced like it very significantly. It's really just, I mean, last year's obviously been Fortnite, but even before that, I feel like there really wasn't a lot of games that were out and, and popular. Yeah, 2018 was was the year of Fortnite, absolutely. Fortnite has sucked yeah. the oxygen out of the room in yeah, the last year. absolutely it did. For that number one What spot. were the competitors? And I think from one side, you can talk about how well- Red it Dead. Red Dead. You know, as far as games- Big flop. Go, big old flop there. Year. So okay. we've got three games that are what what do we have here? Destiny 2, Forsaken, Spider Man, and Assassin's Creed. Whatever. Christ. Yeah. And even a direct competitor like an Activision game like Destiny didn't really seem to influence or uh, indicate any kind of drop in audience for zombies. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Competition is. It's important in regards to how determining a game's success or failure. But as far as Cold War is concerned, there's nothing that's, I think, like. Because Fortnite isn't the thing right now, you know, or it, it it wasn't as much of the thing as it was when BO4 came out. So I think we're gonna have a different scenario at least with at least with that. That's a good point. They're big games, but not not in that realm. Now the games Battlefield, Fallout, oh. and Smash Bros are going to be Smash, <laughs> Fallout 76. Smash yeah. boys. Yeah. Okay, Pat. For them, but I can't hey, pull up Noah J. Oh. Also not. Yeah. Either, but okay. there are two. Come catch this Joker. Games that are going to be directly. Got to be Red Dead with Black Ops 4. And... These are the two games that I worry about most. The first what? is obviously Fortnite. Um, it's yeah. still oh, a titan, no matter yeah. what anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. thinks. <laughs> um, it is going to be Definitely. Fortnite again. Fortnite inadvertently had a huge the impact on the game. From the titan of a studio, Rockstar, and that's obviously Red Dead Redemption. L O L. And so this is actually what I was gonna say. These two LOL, games, bro, kind of broke Black Ops Four. Well, okay, actually, okay. I think this is gonna be his point. Red Dead did it in because it's basically like that forced. Activision's hands to release earlier than intended. Um, I assume that's where he's going with this. Release in November, just because they didn't want to have. This to is the point with Red Dead Redemption. Okay. Yeah. So my yep. worry here was like, oh, everyone's gonna be onto those games, and so no one's gonna want to care or really play Black Ops Four. That's obviously what Activision thought too. And so in a that's way, it was almost yeah, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Where what actually happened here was because they were so worried about Fortnite and they were so worried about Red Dead 2 that they dropped their game a whole month earlier. Yep. And indirectly yep. what exactly ended up it. happening is exactly they released it. an unfinished game. So it was Amen. indirectly competition. He doesn't that miss. Them. Because they were in such a That's rush true. to get these games out, they released them relatively unfinished. And rightfully that is so, so I mean, true. Blue screens for days and zombies. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I'd be crying. I also be crying, boys. Of players. Dang. And while I'm not so worried about competition competing with Cold War zombies, I do think there is a, a, something to be said there. The state of the world right now, there's been so mm -hmm. much going on, and it's worth saying, like, hey, are they rushing to get this out? I mean, obviously, their studio has yep. been impacted. Whole lots of stuff. That's that's what I, that's what I was saying as well. Uh, I, I I've been saying this from the beginning. Like a lot of you guys in the streams know this. Like, dude, it's like COVID could not, could, there's no conceivable way that COVID was healthy for the development of this game. It, it simply wasn't. Uh, that and also the fact that Treyarch has to develop the year or develop the game like a year earlier than intended because it's supposed to be a sledgehammer year, but they kind of did the merge thing. Again, not saying Treyarch can't make a good game on a two year dev cycle, but this is a different circumstance. So. That's another concern, and I don't think we can just brush that away very easily. Happening, it's possible that this could happen again. Moving on to my second point, this okay, is actually related next point. to Black Ops 4 itself, and this is related. He said COVID by monetization. Yeah, rip the Tesla boys. Related around content. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm just going to be completely honest. I think it is a mistake to release four zombies maps on launch day. Yep. <clears throat> they called yep. me. A madman. Yep. Nobody yep. agreed with me. Oh my on god, this. that's they true. Said, Why wouldn't you want more content? You're stupid. It's it's it chat. It's the idea of something that's like too, too, like too big to fail, too big to fail. You know what I mean? It's like if zombies has a chat. Imagine they're just importing every single zombies map into be into Cold War on launch. You could say it's too big to fail, or you could say it's too so big it, that it has to fail. 
And I think that's the situation BO4 found itself in. Very simple. Let me roll uh, the tape. From my perspective, it's just, it, it's too it's so much right. content. It's too much content. Thank you. Packed into one <laughs> mm -hmm. event. If you want to look at the only game that's been successful this year, which is Fortnite, um, one of the keys to their success yeah, has small, been constant consistent updates. updates. And, and I really worry small, that just here, updates. take all this content. Yes. And, and, and then like, we'll see you in a Pat I is reacting to Pat spitting facts. With Cold War is if they just continue on their old formula of unconsistent updates for zombies. But yeah, dude, they called me a madman. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah. You know, a, I don't know. A, a it's like solid business model. Content, okay. Well, it's like content updates in in zombie games. I don't think they need to be like a Fortnite or like a, a like a BR game. You know, it's like I think if zombies fundamentally is stable and fun enough to stand on its own two feet with its gameplay, it doesn't need constant, uh, let's say superficial updates and and content, quote unquote. It doesn't need things thrown at you every day to do if the fundamental gameplay is solid enough. And let me explain this again from a YouTuber standpoint. I imagine launch day going something like this. People are going to be saying like, okay, where are we at in the Easter egg? And then the <laughs> obvious question to that is going to be, which Easter egg? And it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, yes, if you're just a casual. Yeah, player, that kind of did happen. You just want to play and, and have fun. You get all these maps. But for us, like the, 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 the hardcore zombies players out there, yeah, and again, be weird. Is it is kind of an echo chamber here as well. One, so I get yeah, it, but and, and it was weird. Everyone was doing different things, and it was just like this giant hype for like two two weeks, and then it was over. And then it was done. They dropped one and there map. was very little incentive to play any of the other maps, which is very strange. Now that's that brings to the question is like, how do you make incentive to play a map after you've already beat the Easter egg? And I would say that's where BO3 did it really well because there's a million ways you can play the map, just not with the Easter egg. But it's hard to do. It's not an obvious answer, so. And as soon as the Easter egg gets solved yeah. in any game, then another map gets unlocked for the world. Yeah, That'd be cool. that would have been so smart. It's going to split That'd be cool. YouTubers up. It's going to split you guys up. And I really worry that we're just confusing, going to dude. Overload, it's too much for the community. Like, That's why I think okay, we're in a good position now, for this game. Because like I think yeah. I think we have two maps. Then the problem is going to That's be, what appears. Okay, now we don't have any content. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I say it again? They called me a bad man. Come on, <laughs> dudes. Pat. So, now, with the I'm pop certainly off. not the only one that feels this. As Lex actually tweeted a few days ago, he said, I'm getting a bad feeling that the yeah. chaos Yeah. <laughs> no, I was certainly... <laughs> Bro, absolutely <laughs> iconic <laughs> tweets right there. But <laughs> I love that. His name is We Back Boys. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Chat, this is literally one of those tweets that, did, that actually aged very well, hindsight, but... Oh my god, I love that so much. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was certainly not the only one on this, but... It's going to flop, and I absolutely agree with him. When I do these videos, I like to make a brief outline of what I'm going to talk about, and my notes for this number three point is, <laughs> I might not care about the Chaos Crew. And then it goes on to say, actually... Amen! Dot, 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 I, I don't. Yeah. Amen! No, I mean, I'm not here to just we don't say I told you have so, a reason. but... um. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I know wasn't a lot wrong. Of people do like the Chaos Crew, and it sounds like we're not going to be getting that for this next COD, so people are sad. But I mean, if you think of every person that's ever played Zombies, 99, 95%. The people, what it seems to me is that the people that like Chaos are the most involved in the echo chamber of Zombies. I, I, I have not talked to one casual gamer, not a single one, that has been like, yeah, you know, the Chaos storyline was pretty epic. That's what got me into zombies. No, it's like, you talk to any casual gamer, like, yeah, I, I like Nocturne Tone, or I like Transit, for God's sake. It's like, casual gamers do not like Chaos at all. Straight up. People probably really don't care about the Chaos Crew. They it's the Echo Blood Chamber that that, that likes it, I think. KO and Dempsey, and that's that's the group. Which is of fine, people they but it, it means you're in the Echo Chamber so of Zombies, and it's important. And it totally we we makes all sense are. That this crew not succeeding was the case. Why should I care about? Why this should you care? Yeah, I have nothing invested in them as of today. Yeah, um, I don't really know mm -hmm. what they're doing. Again, I, I I'm not making this video to hate. But as of right now, I just I have no interest. It just in doesn't that get there. The it just doesn't get there for me. All I really you know? care about is Blood of the Dead. And while <laughs> Blood of the Dead had a sick Easter egg, sick storyline. 
it wasn't a map that was very good. Not a, so not a very, uh, left, you know. Actually, ironically, uh, I think that was the best of, of, of everything. Anyway, yeah, debatable. On to our fourth Fair enough. Final Fair enough. Final debatable, one. though. One that I, just decided to throw I don't know. Am I the only one that doesn't love nine? Am I the only one that really doesn't like nine that much and kind of feels it's generic? I don't know. But it's PlayStation maybe me. Four cool. that had a lot of flaws, you know. And, and I think I think maybe that the the next iteration of Cold War. I hope it's a map that we grow into. Maybe it's something we don't like at the beginning. I hope it's a map we grow into, like Shadows. We'll see. This video was really inspired by this meme on on the subreddit, which was like people basically just you know hating on me, and then you know they called me a madman. But <laughs> yeah, if I had to summarize Black Ops Four in a nutshell, I would say blind hype because all of Treyarch's previous maps were great. Maps that weren't complete. Completed and, and just generally weren't polished yep. on release. A new storyline that people weren't really able to get interested in, and just no now that is a, that okay. Obviously, it's not chaos, but it is like a it is kind of a weird thing to think about right now because it's the next storyline is not exactly ether. It doesn't seem like it, and it has elements of it. Nocturne Toten, it has Treyarch characters, whatever. It it kind of seems like an ether, but it's I know it's not. Um, so. Again, that's kind of up in the air. No one can really say for sure what's gonna happen with that story, but so I, I, I am I'm putting this one in a bubble right now because we just don't know. No consistent support through zombies throughout the season. And now let's talk about Cold War. Here we go. Here's the predictions. I don't what think are you saying, Cold Mr. War Pat? Zombies is going to be highly successful. I think okay. it will be more well received than black ops 4 but as far uh -huh. as the zombies community goes and all that i don't really know if it's going to be like long term loved couple things mm -hmm. the first is that you guys got to remember is, is sledgehammer games was supposed to be dropping this cod so what yeah, happened that's was what i was saying earlier chat that's what i mentioned I think earlier activision kind of gave sledgehammer the boot because their last game was was very very world war and so treyarch basically took this frame <laughs> and now they're treyarchified it. But that sounds like a really hard task to me to take yeah. a game from another studio and then make it your own. And specifically related to zombies, World War II and Sledgehammer, they don't really have the best track record. So with that in mind, I, I don't think that's a great place to be starting for the game. On and you know, that is why it has a very World War II esque feel. Is you know, Sledgehammer is so it, in, integrally important to this game that a lot of those. Um, Design choices are going to rub off on that. So, yeah. Off of that, it doesn't sound like we're going to be getting, like, our our, our, our main Aether storyline. Sounds like it might be kind of related, but I I, I don't know. It's yeah, so that's hard, hard to say. I don't, I don't like think a, anyone a knows at that point. It's story, and it's like, do we really want to keep this going? No, but we don't. No, we don't. Time, we definitely I don't. Mean, obviously, like, people just don't care about other stuff. So, I mean, I think that's something to also be worried about. Because, honestly, I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys. to get I'm, your I'm with Pat on that. I agree. Watch me more of that, that I think it's going to be good. I am honestly acting as though this next Zombies is not going to be successful at all. I mean, I've started another channel. I'm pursuing other endeavors. Because, really, I just don't think that Zombies is ever going to be what it was. I mean, it's, it's a dead community. And I, I don't say that to be pessimistic. He's I, I not to be wrong. Realistic. I mean, there there is a huge dead, dead, group of people who are still in dead community. Is like it's a strange zombies. word. It's a strange word, but I I kind of see his point. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like zombies has gotten so complicated that it doesn't open itself up for, for people to get into it now. Now here's where I kind of disagree with Pat. Is like I think what Warzone has done ha has been incredible for the barrier to entry for zombies and into the community like what i'm saying is zombies now needs to be as accessible as a war zone you know what i mean it needs to be as 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 uh entry level as like call of duty wars or fortnite or something zombies was has never really been that and especially i would say in bo3 and in bo4 definitely wasn't but that that will uh i guess revitalize the community but i i see his point as a the zombies community always has this boiled down but super passionate community, right? And and it can grow extensively outwards this way, but these are going to be more of like the casuals. People don't really care as much. What you really get down into here is people like us and the chats and streamers and the people that actually really care about the game. So, 
And yeah, so I see what he's saying, like but I disagree a little bit, I guess. Like it, we're, we're here and, and, and all that. But I just don't know if, if Zombies is really going to ever catch that wildfire it had in the days of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3. I we'll would see. absolutely love for this next game to be great and everyone to love zombies and all sorts of new people to flush into the community. I just don't want to we'll be like overly optimistic. That's all. <laughs> I think mean, it's so fair. not really a lot we given on Cold War Zombies, but I, I don't know. I, That's I'm completely nervous. fair. The artwork style that we saw in the teasers doesn't look look fantastic and again uh I, I think that treyarch like given the state of it's the fair. world right now and the fact that they had to take this game like it sounds like they're in a tough position is, is what it is yeah my guess is we're gonna get a zombies game better than black ops 4 but again i'm just i don't want to sit here and, and and pretend like this is gonna be black ops 3 zombies all over again so yeah obviously i'm excited and obviously it's gonna I, be a strange year chat good it's gonna content, be a strange year for sure I don't know. expect for the worst hope for the best i knew black ops 3 was Amen. gonna be huge i had feelings that black ops 4 was gonna fail i think that cold war zombies is gonna be pretty neutral it'll probably be I think, better than anything yeah, we've been given like a moderate game start of infinite warfare and like space land maybe but it, uh, will it be i i i think I think I agree with this point there, but I also think that there's still a wild card element to Cold War that nobody really knows. Again, it it could be absolutely it could be absolutely horrid, you know? It could be worse than BO4. Um what I think is important to keep in mind is that there is still a wild card element where it's like the things that they've been cooking up with like a lot of new people at Treyarch just could be it could reinvent zombies in the best way possible. I don't know. So we'll see. Be Black Ops 3 zombies? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for making it all the way through. Kind of a different video. But, I got you, Pat. Uh, I got you, Pat. It's a good go video, man. And, and talk about all this it's a great stuff. video. Uh, if you